developing now at 4.30, a Broward County Sheriff's deputy remains in jail following a disturbing arrest. Jemiah Thomas is accused of trying to solicit a teen. Officials say the deputy met the minor while responding to a domestic violence call last month. And things turned inappropriate from there. Local 10's Ian Margul is live outside the Broward Jail in Fort Lauderdale with more for us. Ian. And Thomas has been suspended without pay as this investigation goes on. Moments ago, we're talking maybe two minutes ago, he officially bonded out of jail. All right, sir, uh, based on your line of criminal history here, I am going to say your bond on count one at $10,000, count two at $10,000, count three at $10,000, count four at $10,000. Your total bond is going to be $40,000. Jemiah Thomas back in front of a judge on Wednesday. The Broward Sheriff's Office deputy now facing felony charges for allegedly trying to solicit sex from a teenage girl. In this particular case, you got a deputy out here who did nothing more than take advantage. On Tuesday, Sheriff Gregory Tony spoke about the allegations, telling us Thomas met the 17-year-old victim while he was on duty and responding to a domestic violence call. Thomas and the teen exchanged numbers and then began texting. Throughout that texting and communicating, there had been strategic efforts to plan and meet with the minor, sexual communications, um, pictures being sent uh, while on duty. The victim's father found out about the conversations and reported them to BSO. Then detectives in the Internet Crimes Against Children unit took over, posing as the teen girl and continuing the conversations before finally taking him into custody. He's a good person. He had a great reputation as a police officer. Attorney Sidney Fleischman told the judge on Wednesday that Thomas is a father of four, that he and his wife own a home in Palm Beach County, and that the deputy is looking forward to defending himself. He's doing well under the circumstances. He's looking forward to getting out of jail so we can start working on the case. And the family is very supportive of him. Mr. Thomas, do you have anything to say about the charges? And here's, this is video of him getting out just moments ago. We were able to ask him a few questions. He had nothing to say. He paid $4,000 of his $40,000 bond and was given an ankle monitor and then allowed to go home. Back out live here in Fort Lauderdale. The judge said he could not be around any minors except for his own children or his own family members. We will continue to follow his case. Keep you updated as soon as we learn more. Live in Fort Lauderdale, me and Margul, Local 10 News.